solving the problem of centroid for a T section. Here we have a question. I am going to mark this question. Let us read what is given here. Find the centroid for a T section having flange 120 mm into 12 mm and web 180 mm into 80 mm. Now this is the question in front of us. Let us try to find the solution for this. Here the question is to find the centroid. Centroid if we have to find out then it means we have to calculate what are the values of x bar and y bar. So we have to calculate what are the values of x and y bar. Before that I will draw the T section. Now the here we have a T section where the flange is 120 into 12. 120 mm into 12 mm web is 180 mm into 18 mm so 180 mm is the height of the web 18 mm is the word so here we have a T section this upper portion is called as flange And this vertical portion is called as web. Now, as per the dimensions given, flange is 120 into 12, web is 180 into 18. Next, since we have to find the centroid, centroid means we have to calculate what are the values of x bar and y bar. These are the questions. So, for that, what we have to do here for this T section we don't have a direct formula where we can get the centroid for a T section so how to find the centroid of a T section the simplest way is to divide this T section into two rectangles so here we are having two rectangles I'll call this as rectangle 1 and this would be rectangle 2 so I would be calculating for rectangle number 1 its area x and y values similarly for rectangle 2 and then we will find x bar and y bar. So here I will say that since area 1 is equal to 120 into 12 so this comes out to be 1440 mm square next if I want to calculate x x for the first rectangle will be x1 now what is x1 x1 is the location of y axis for the first rectangle so the y axis for the first rectangle it would be located at half of 120 since we are marking the distances with respect to origin so x1 will be 120 by 2 and it is the y axis for the first rectangle and the value of x1 is 60 mm next is y1 since rectangle 1 is starting after 180 mm so here i will write down y1 is equal to 180 plus now the x axis for the first rectangle it would be at half of 12 so 180 plus half of 12 therefore y1 comes out to be 186 mm now after getting a1 x1 and y1 i will calculate a2 x2 and y2 since a2 is equal to area 2 is for web and it is 18 into 180 area 2 comes out to be 3240 mm square now after getting area 2 I will calculate the value of x2 x2 means the y axis for second rectangle 
and as we can see the y axis for second and first rectangle they are passing through the same line so for this x2 will be equal to half of 120 that is 60 mm next we will calculate the value of y2 now y2 will be since second rectangle is having height of 180 mm so the x axis for the second rectangle will be at half of 180 so therefore y2 is equal to 180 divided by 2 so that is 90 mm now once we know all the values we can easily calculate x bar and y bar so after this i'll say that since location of centroid with respect to y axis that will be called as x bar is equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 upon area 1 plus area 2 therefore i'll put all the values here a1 it was 1440 into x1 is 60 plus area 2 3240 into x2 60 divided by area 1 plus area 2 so from this if i calculate i will be getting my x bar value as it is 60 mm this will be the first answer now i'll calculate y bar so therefore location of centroid with respect to x axis that is y bar is equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 upon area 1 plus area 2 so here is the formula for y bar now i'll put all the values here area 1 it is 1440 into y1 was 186 plus area 2 that was 3240 into y2 90 divided by area 1 plus area 2 so therefore y bar value comes out to be 119.53 mm this is the second answer now after getting x bar and y bar we can locate them on the t section here i'll draw the t section again flange was 120 mm and the height was it was 12 mm for flange for web the height was 180 mm and width was 18 mm now after this we would be locating x bar and y bar here x bar comes out to be 60 mm so at half of 120 we are getting x bar and y bar is 119.53 so here is the centroid which i am denoting it by letter g x bar and y bar are the coordinates 
of the centroid x bar distance with respect to origin it is 60 mm y bar is 119.53 mm so once we have given the coordinates that is x bar and y bar we have located the centroid for this t section and centroid is that point where the entire area of the t section would be acting and with this we complete the problem